heading into the unknown. Firefighters from New York's Engine 16 Ladder 7 get the call, never knowing just what to expect on a job. Just like on September the 11th, 2001, Mickey Cross is only still around due to a miracle. Called out to the World Trade Center, he was on the third floor when the building started to collapse. The stairway started literally vibrating, and this very loud noise, a roar, a little like a roar off my head, and, and I knew something was going. I still didn't, I didn't know the building was coming down, but I knew something was happening in my vicinity. And, that, so, and then a wind, tremendous wind. Like, and the building was coming down over 100 miles an hour. So what is it doing? It's pushing all the air in front of it 100 miles. So you, you had a literally hurricane winds inside the stairwell. So I started actually being lifted up. And that's when I just grabbed my helmet and I ducked in the corner. I just got as small as I could. So, and then started getting hit. And uh, then it went quiet. I didn't feel anything. I had no feeling. I couldn't see because I was totally covered up. And for a couple of seconds, I wasn't sure if I was alive. People two floors above me to the top of the, they all died. And two floors below me, they all died. And just that little area we were in, the 14 of us survived. So how do you explain that? Yeah. Others weren't so lucky. Engine 16, Ladder 7's captain, James Doddy. No one expected it. It happened. Uh, you know, uh, the call went out. We answered the call. The guys went down there to do the best they could. They put themselves in harm's way, um, which is what they took an oath to do. And with all, you know, all good faith and honor, they, they went about their work. And unfortunately, you know, the towers came down and, and we lost some, you know, really quality people. What a shame. After his lucky escape, Mickey spent the next nine months digging through the rubble known simply as the pile. You came to work, they give you a hand tool, a radio, and I got a list of four firefighters to supervise. And we dug with our hands, and that's what we did. And it was just a simple job, and it was an important job. And I got a lot of gratitude out of it. New York's firefighters will mark 10 years since 9-11 with the ceremony to honor their fallen comrades. We always used to say, like, you know, if you were leaving or getting detailed to another company nearby, You'd always say, like, all right, see you at the big one. But there's no... There is no more big ones. That was it. <laughs>